Assalamu alaikum. I'm Atif Awan. Uh, about a year ago, I was at the disrupt stage talking about why Pakistani startups are the next big thing. And I was doing that in the context of my own story of growing up in Pakistan then going to the US, getting experience at Microsoft and then LinkedIn, investing in startups in the Silicon Valley, uh, but most importantly, coming back and starting a VC fund because I believe Pakistani startups uh, were the next big thing at the time. Um, so how it's going a year later, uh, the fund has been uh, actively investing. We've invested in four startups, Airlift, Bazaar, Amfit, and a fourth one that uh, we haven't announced yet. So you've probably heard of these companies. Uh, they're all revolutionizing different parts of Pakistan's economy, Airlift in transit and grocery delivery, Bazaar, the retail, ecosystem and aim fit, female fitness. Now, when I had started down this journey, one of the things many people mentioned was that um, the capital might not come to Pakistan, the fall on capital, that will be a very difficult thing. And uh, I always believe that global capital is so abundant and seeking yields and it flows very easily across borders these days that it will flow. And if you look at what happened the last two years, Pakistani startups that were in between seed and series B stages actually did tremendously well. They've raised $72 million in capital. And given the nascent ecosystem we have, uh, that's a fair bit of money. And uh, the four portfolio companies I mentioned, our portfolio companies, they've raised $26 million in the same time. So that's about 36% of the total. Um, so I said this last year as well, and I'll repeat, if you build a rocket ship, the fuel will come when you want to take off. So the capital is not an issue. Um, now, coming to talent, Pakistan's talent profile is also very strong. Pakistan has a lot of raw talent. So we have 360,000 plus software developers in Pakistan. We have some very significant R&D teams. Uh, three unicorns actually are running material R&D teams in Pakistan, Kareem, Affinity, Keep Trucking. And what's happening is you're already seeing that um, the mafias from Kareem and Daraz, the early employees, uh, they're actually uh, founding and uh, joining very early on in some of the leading startups in Pakistan. So that's the good news. However, I feel as we look forward, um, we are gonna face a gap and a bottleneck. And that's gonna come into play when we have these startups entering the series B stage. So imagine you have five Pakistani startups raising series B rounds. Now they have the capital to significantly grow their teams. And they have maybe, um, 200 people, maybe 500 people. And at that point, you start needing very senior management talent. Uh, and just because Pakistan hasn't gone through that entire cycle, we don't have a lot of those people yet. And similarly, you need specialized talent on analytics, on in high scale infrastructure, on design, product, growth. And that's going to be a challenge for the ecosystem that we have to solve. And I'm very excited that, you know, today, the announcement is about what Indus Valley Capital is going to do to solve that. Uh, our firm belief is that Pakistanis can eliminate this bottleneck. For those of you who did not hear Rabil say this term at last year's disrupt, uh, so Pakistani is one of my favorite terms. It refers to Pakistanis who've gone abroad and are now returning, Jo um, So now if you look at Pakistanis, there are 20,000 plus of them in tech in US alone. And they're working at the largest and the coolest tech companies, no matter where you go, um, whether it's Apple or Google, Facebook, Amazon, Airbnb, Uber, LinkedIn, Microsoft. Uh, you'll find them everywhere in very impressive roles uh, in all functions. Now, imagine if only 1% of them return over the next couple of years. That will be 200 incredible people with experience building and scaling tech startups who would to come and join Pakistani startups or maybe do their own startups. And a lot more people, maybe 10x, 20x people will learn from that. And then in a couple of years, we would have solved for this bottleneck. Um, now, the interesting thing is many of these people actually want to come back and they want to return to be close to their aging parents maybe, or to raise their kids in Pakistan. And COVID has actually accelerated this desire because we've all gone through this traumatic experience this year um, so the need to be closer to your families is higher than ever. But the problem is that it seems daunting. You don't know where to start. 
You don't know if you'll find good enough, satisfying jobs. You don't know uh, where to live, where your kids will go to school. Uh, and what we are announcing today is in this Valley Wapistani track, that will help solve for this very problem. Uh, so what is Indus Valley Wapistani track? It is a dedicated program that we're just launching for Wapistanis to help make their move easier. So we're gonna help on three fronts. First is career. Uh, so if you are a Wapistani thinking of coming back, we'll help you with your next career decision through personalized intros. So we'll talk to you, we'll understand what you're looking for and we'll connect you with the right people uh, among the top startups that are looking for senior specialized talent. Number two, Concierge. So a lot of small stuff. And I moved back. I was looking to rent an apartment in Karachi. And trust me, it's just uh, unnecessarily hard. So I didn't have family in Karachi, so I had to find an apartment. And actually, you know, you have to go to a police station just to rent an apartment. It's just insane. Uh, but these are things that we can help and solve uh, for. Um, uh, where do you want to live? What are the pros and cons of different cities? What are good schools you can send your kids to? helping with those appointments, um, medical care, which hospitals are good, which doctors are good. So um, a full conscious service that actually makes life easier for you as you transition back. And then finally, the, and the most important thing is community. So what we will do is as part of this track, you will be grouped with other people who are very similar um, in a similar situation. So they're Wapistanis that are in tech, and then moving back at the same time as you. So now you have a cohort. Um, and this is something uh, I've been part of uh, first round capitals, angel track and on Dex angel fellowship. Uh, to learn from them, this cohort based um, programming of bringing people together who are on similar journeys is incredibly powerful. And those networks, you know, you wanna maintain forever. Um, and we'll do the same for Wapstani. So you'll immediately come back with a group of friends um, maybe you'll find co-founders with them. Maybe you'll do something with them or just, you know, you'll, you'll play squash with them. Uh, but uh, it will be a strong community that will help you come back. Uh, so if you're in tech and planning to move back in the next six months, you can go to www.indus.vc slash Wapistani and apply now. Uh, if you have friends who are in that position or who have been thinking about for a while, but maybe on the edge, uh, Tell them about this. Uh, we want to make this happen. Our target is to bring uh, 200 Pakistanis from tech companies, some of the best in the world, to Pakistan the next two years. So let's make this happen. Um, I've got into this habit of um, ending my presentations with a quote from Rumi. Um, so I'll do the same today. And this one I really liked. Uh, there are, so Rumi goes, there are a thousand ways to kneel and kiss the ground. There are a thousand ways to go home again. Thank you.